Hey guys, this is Chris and I'm just checking back with you guys 24 hours later with the S22 Ultra. Here's some quick thoughts. Now so far, my initial impressions, this is the first 24 hours with this phone right here. Of course you guys are going to be able to see some of the camera pictures, some of the pictures, the camera, the way that it performs and some of the video recording that this thing does and um, if you want to see more in detail what that does click the link in the description you'll be able to see uh, my camera comparison to see who the actual king of of cameras is but my initial thoughts on this is the fingerprint scanner is definitely more responsive now funny quirk i don't know if this is just because i need to re-register my fingerprint but this is my initial thought um, I took a long shower today because it's cold. It is freezing. Hold on. I got to jump a little bit. It is freezing. Freezing cold over here in Vegas. And um, I took a long, hot shower. And when I got out of the shower, I figured it was because my fingers were a little bit pruney. But it stopped reading my fingerprint scanner, which is kind of disappointing. But I'm going to re-register it and see how it does. Overall, halfway through the day, took this thing off to charge around, around 8.30 a.m., 9 we are at 51%. I've watched a few hours of Twitch. Um, YouTube's been up. I've been on social media. I've been responding to all your guys' comments. Um, so I've been doing that. And um, I've now been recording. I've already taken a few pictures, recorded a few things. And this thing is holding up pretty good. Another thing that I noticed is it's got some little bit of heft to it, which is pretty cool. Um, the other call outs that I wanted to uh, bring up is a couple of things in the comment section. Um, that was kind of brought to my attention yesterday in regards to the cases the flip cover if you flip the front portion back the cutout actually goes over the camera so it, like the cutout section is it, like nothing covers the camera is what I'm trying to say so that cutout when you flip it back it ends up right where the camera is at so you could take a picture with the flap closed you don't have to do one of these with you know where you got like a book open and you're taking pictures which is pretty cool uh, so that's something that I didn't notice uh, the other thing is the straps are interchangeable on that silicone case. Thank you so much for the shout out on that. And um, what else? What else did I miss? Oh, I have a screen protector that I put on here. I didn't do the greatest of jobs, but it works great. It is not a tempered glass or anything like that, but it works really well. So I will be posting that as well too. But my initial thoughts, is this better than the S21 Ultra? After 24 hours or almost 24 hours with this phone, would I recommend maybe upgrading from S21 to a S21 Ultra to an S22 Ultra? My initial thoughts are not, not quite, right? The speakers are a little bit louder. Everything is just incremental, to be honest with you. The form factor, yes, it's different. And I think that that's what Samsung was kind of after. They just wanted to transition the Note line to the S line, but nothing seems like drastically better. Like for example, the iPhone from the iPhone 13 to the, or I'm sorry, from the iPhone 12 to the iPhone 13, it's a very obvious, very obvious upgrade, right? The display, the battery, the camera, all around just a massive upgrade. Not as massive on this. Now, is it a great phone? Yes, the colorways I think are amazing. I actually wish I had gotten the green one. This is more of like a purple. So it's not burgundy, it's more of like a purple, just so you know, right? But it's a great phone, great phone so far. Uh, that's just kind of my two, two cents on that. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to filming some of this stuff and uh, we will catch you catch up with you guys in a little bit. Now, the other big thing that stood out to me when it comes to this is just the snappiness. It seems like, I don't know if it's just the placebo effect because it's a new phone and it just feels really snappy, but it feels a lot more snappy throughout every like menu, flipping through apps, even just unlocking the phone. I know that that is snappier for sure and I think that, that, may, have to, may, that may have to do with the fingerprint scanner being improved somehow i don't know if it's software or hardware i'm assuming it's software because if it was hardware they would have told us but it's a lot snappier and i don't know if it's just the effects or if it's just in my head but it feels a lot smoother and um overall the battery is better from what it looks like so far so that's just kind of the, some of the things that really stood out to me now would I, would I tout this as like my number one phone? I don't know if it beats the iPhone yet, but we'll have to wait and see and when, when it comes to the, uh, it, when it comes to like the actual review that I'm gonna post here in the next couple days. Um, so we'll have to wait and see how that does. 
um, but it is up there. It's definitely in my top three phones. It's a great phone. And um, here's another thing actually that I just thought of. Uh, this morning when I charged it, I don't have the 45 watt charger because Samsung was out. Did you guys know that, that if you charge it with the 45 watt charging, charging brick that the OnePlus has, the OnePlus 9 Pro has, it charges it just as fast and the speeds are actually faster. So charging speeds are faster with this phone than the S21 Ultra. So those two things, feel snappier, fingerprint scanner and the, and the software. And then the second thing is the charging speeds are definitely faster. It might only be a little, a slight improvement to some people, but when I plug this thing in, it said it's going to charge from zero to hundred in an hour. And about an hour later, it was fully charged. So that's my quick take on everything so far. So good. So we'll have to wait and see what, uh, what happens here in the full review. I need a couple more days with it. You know, we're just warming up. We're on the honeymoon phase right now. So we'll see afterwards, right? We'll see once we move in together and uh, she starts making me do the dishes or something. So <laughs> with that being said, it's actually really, really cold outside. So I will see you guys in a little bit, actually in the next video. Um, and um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for supporting the channel. And thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing it with people. And I hope this helps you guys out. Peace. See you guys later.